somewhere in deep space. There is a container that looks like a wedge. The space is basically vacuum, but miraculously, this container is full of water molecules. Orange pumped this container on his way to singularity. The container can move around a hinge freely without any friction, and the hinge doesn't move because it is infinitely heavy. So let's check the dimension of our container. The height is h. The top surface and the bottom surface are two right triangles. The two legs are A and B, and the hypotenuse is C. Our goal is to prove that a square plus b square equals c square, the famous Pythagorean theorem from a pure physics perspective. The two physics laws we are going to use are Newton's first law and Pascal's law. According to Newton's first law, what's at rest will remain rest. Although there is no friction, this container will not rotate as there are no external forces. The Pascal's law in fluid mechanics says, if we treat water as incompressible, which we do, the water will apply the exact same amount of pressure to all the inside surfaces of the container. Let's look at the top and the bottom surfaces first. It is quite clear that the forces have the same magnitude but different directions, so they cancel each other. Before discussing other surfaces, I removed the hinge so it's more clear to see. For the hypotenuse yellow surface, the force is perpendicular to it. As a potential result of such a force is rotational, so we have to discuss and calculate the torque. The radius is given by c over 2 because it is on the surface, so it's automatically perpendicular to our force vector. Using the right hand rule of cross product, the torque is upward with a magnitude of h c square over 2 times the magnitude of p. Now let's move on to one of the smaller side surfaces, the right one. The force's magnitude is proportional to the area as well, and the radius is a over 2. It's easier to use the right hand rule if I put those two vectors next to each other. And according to the right hand rule, the result of the torque is that it's pointing downward with a magnitude of h a square over 2 times the magnitude of p. The same calculation applies to our last surface. With similar calculation, the torque is pointing downward with a magnitude of h b square over 2 times the magnitude of p. In order for the container to remain rest, Newton's first law says the three torques must cancel each other, so we recover the Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equals c square. And this is how you prove the Pythagorean theorem using the physics laws. Thank you for watching.